We are on location in Miami attending a lecture block of USAT and we'll speak with some of faculty members and students. We are so close to other signs of Parkinson's, even though it's not Parkinson's disease per se, such as a blunted affect, which may be a side effect of the medication or any medication they're taking, or they may be depressed. Akathisia. Akathisia, AKA, for those of you who don't have it, T-H-I-S-I-A. Akathisia is a very, very important and highly subjective side effect. USAT provides a unique opportunity for those with ambitions of greatness. If you want to become a MD or even a PhD, it provides the opportunity to do that while you're still working and pursuing other things in life. What are your thoughts with regard to your studies at USAT? It has given me the opportunity to achieve my, my dream in life. I had ever wanted to be a, med a medical doctor. And coming here, I'm really impressed by the faculty, the, the way the lectures are delivered. I mean, they've really broken down everything for us. And it's also helping my practice because right now I'm a, I'm a family nurse practitioner. And what I gain here, I'm also able to apply it. And I'm glad that through this process, I'll be able to achieve my goal. Thank you both very much and good luck to you both. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Why are you here at USAT? To be able to achieve a dream that I thought would be almost impossible to do. The goal of becoming a physician was always uh, a dream that I had, and this is uh, an opportunity that fell from, fell from heaven. What are your plans for the future? To become a doctor <laughs> and uh, work with children. Hello, I'm Dr. Orion Talp. I'm the founder and the president of the University of Science, Arts, and Technology, from Montserrat. Uh, the College of Medicine and the College of Graduate Studies for medical and graduate education. We have one of the largest MD bridge programs in the United States, if not the world, and we also have the largest MD-PhD program in North America, double doctorate program, where the students come in, they earn not only the Doctor of Medicine degree, but simultaneously they can earn the Doctor of Philosophy or the Doctor of Public Health related degree. Uh, while they're earning the medical degree. I am George Einstein, Dean of Einstein Institute of USAT, and I teach microbiology, immunology, and physiology of cells, and I run the program, PhD program, for, in the USAT on the edge of science and technology. I'm a student here because I have family at home, I have a job at home, and I can't leave them to pursue medicine. How do you like USAT? It's great. The professors here are great. Um, I came in not knowing what to expect. Dr. Tulp is great. Sina is great. Um, the professors really know what they're doing. Uh, I thought it was a great opportunity for me to transition from my chiropractic degree to a medical degree. And um, I know if I put a little effort in, that it would make my, uh, what I, my, my goal possible. I chose USAT primarily because as a chiropractor for 25 years, I needed a place where I could become a medical doctor and also continue my practice at the same time. It's a unique opportunity for somebody that's a medical professional to pursue a medical career. I'm Dr. Stephen Rudin. I am professor of clinical psychopharmacology here at USAT. And uh, for me, it is a very exciting position. I am a, a displaced northerner, having come down to Florida full-time a few years ago, and I am on the uh, adjunct faculty at Nova Southeastern University in Fort Lauderdale as well as here. And I'm finding it extremely rewarding, uh, assisting young people from all disciplines of science and uh, healthcare into fulfilling their dreams of going forward with uh, their professional degrees in the medical field. USAT I like specifically because it offers a unique opportunity for working adults like myself who have been practicing in my field for a while, about 11 years now, to become a doctor, to study medicine while I continue working and run a busy family life. And I think this is an excellent opportunity afforded 
by the school to provide that. I'm here to uh, give lectures uh, on the basic uh, sciences. I'm also the faculty advisor for uh, physician assistants that uh, want to transition. I'm a retired military physician assistant and then went through the program and uh, have practiced as a general practitioner after a one-year internship and I was approached by Dr. Talt if I'd be interested in serving as a faculty advisor to physician assistants that want to use the uh, bridge program. Uh, the USAT is truly a bridge program for PAs. Uh, there are other professions that are also in that category, but I'm not their advisor, so I can only address the, the physician assistants that want to earn their MD. And this is a golden opportunity. It's uh, cost effective, and they apply themselves. They will certainly be able to uh, become a physician. Their chances of getting a U.S. residency are, are very good and uh, we have met with significant success from our PAs that have gone through the program and are now practicing physicians. Well, sir, thank you for your service. Wonderful work you're all doing here at USAT. Thank you. Biophysical, biochemical, and next you have psycho-neural stimulation. One of the busiest registrars I've ever seen associated with any university is Sina Hirsch. Sina, what on earth are you doing this morning? Aside from helping the student body, because we're in a lecture block, um, one of our students is trying to get registered and certified for residency. And so I'm going into the program and figuring out how to make sure his transcripts are valid. That's about it. <laughs> Tell us about this program today. Well, this is one of our satellite locations for our, the University of Science, Art, and Technology. And what we have here is our Review of Systems uh, second year intense program to prepare students for the U.S. medical licensing examinations. They tend to test out much better, much stronger than U.S. medical graduates because they've got a lot of collateral medical education when they come into our program. The average student coming in has a master's degree when they enter our program which is two years more of education than, than the vast majority of U.S. medical schools and other medical schools. Most interesting, sir. And what exactly are you teaching here this week? Uh, one of the topics that I'm teaching this, this weekend is nutritional assessment. And another topic that I'm teaching myself is the nutritional biochemistry element of the, the curriculum. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you.